And even if he just puts his hand on the mat right here and I'm in my crab ride, I can always scoop it, okay? But I, I want a more match-like situation to where he's trying to make me panic and I have to adjust, okay, and scoop. Obviously, I don't hang out here very long. Now, he's talking about if we come here and this guy comes to his knees, okay, and I have a bar and a half, yeah, I'm just going to float and just stack it straight up right here. Okay, just stack it straight up. Drop my hip in the armpit, all that type of stuff. Now, one thing I want you to think about, if you lose the bar, don't worry about it. If you lose the bar, don't freak out, okay? Because if I lose the bar, I'm just gonna adjust my half and I'm gonna make this guy pin himself. Raise your hand if you've ever like purposefully pinned yourself in a match. Hope nobody raises their hand. <laughs> okay? Like you were, you were close to being pinned and you just went, Okay, it's time. Ugh! And just waited for the referee to slap the mat. You, somebody in here's done that for real? Okay. Me and you're gonna have a talk later. All right. All right. Do you remember who it was against? You don't? I would remember the guy I was wrestling if I made myself, if I pinned myself. This is why I'm saying that. I'm gonna put this guy in a position to where he either goes to sleep or he pins himself, and it's gonna be 100% legal. All right. Focus. Focus, so I got my half and I got my bar. Okay, Listen. got my half and got my bar, and he's kind of making me feel uncomfortable. Again, high hand side kicks, low hand side pushes off the mat. So I start to punch, trying to get into his back right here. Okay, and I'm straddling, trying to run, and I get him started going, and I lose the bar. Okay, don't worry about if you lose the bar right here. If I lose the bar, all I'm gonna do is still drop to my outside hip right here, okay, to this position. Okay, he's gonna be on his hip, he's not gonna keep going to his back because I lost the bar. I'm gonna take my free arm, the arm that had the bar, and I'm gonna come right here to his hip. Right here to his hip with my elbow. And then I'm gonna lift his head, and I'm gonna circle his body over my arm. So I see what I'm doing. I'm putting my elbow in his hip, and I'm circling his body over my arm. Now when I get to this position right here, all I'm thinking about doing is bringing my elbows to my ribs, and pushing my chest through his chest. And I'm gonna put him about a half inch off the mat and then just watch him bridge and pin himself, okay? That feels horrible, right? I'm taking my chest and putting it through his chest. I'm bringing my elbows to my ribs, okay? So if I lose the bar and he's on his hip, I just go elbow deep with my half. So get on your right hip. If I lose the bar, say I got my half right here and I had this bar and I lose it. I just drop to this position. He's gonna be fighting into me, right? He's gonna be fighting into me right here. I'm elbow deep, I'm gonna swim, elbow to the mat. See how this foot steps up? I'm gonna walk his body over my arm. See how my arm is under his waist. Then when I get here, elbows to my ribs, chest through his chest, and I'm just taking him down slow, 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 okay? It'll be a very, very, very tight pin, all right?